Hello and welcome, my name is Meeplish, she, they, and this is Literally Graphic. And today I'm going to be highlighting a number of picture books that discuss different aspects of being queer and being in community with other kinds of people in the Alphabet Mafia. This is partially because it is Pride Month in my home, but also because when I was a kid I was told many of these books were a sign of the end of morality, that these sorts of books were corrupting children and signs of the increased persecution of Christians and quote, traditional values, end quote. Obviously this is nonsense, and coming into my queer Christian adulthood has only shown me how important demonstrating inclusion and diversity to children is. Living in a very multicultural city, I've also tried to include queer picture books that are also coming from different racial and or cultural perspectives. I was also glad to see that several also included disability representation. The one identity that I have so far been totally unsuccessful in tracking anything down for is asexuality. I currently live in hope that we are just in the tipping point of awareness and that such picture books are forthcoming. Please share if you have any recommendations and I will report back once something turns up. With all that out of the way though, let's break out the books. Seeing as I'm not really a picture book reviewer, I'll be sticking to just reading out the title, creators, and publishing date, followed by a short description. Let's go. They, she, he, me. Free to Be by Maya Gonzalez and Matthew S.G. published in 2017. Pronouns serve as a familiar starting point for kids and grown-ups to expand ideas about gender and celebrate personal expression with fun imagery that provides a place to meet and play. And Tango Makes Three. Justin Richardson and Peter Parnell, pictures by Henry Cole, published in 2005. In the zoo, there are all kinds of animal families, but Tango... But Tango's family is not like any of the others. This illustrated children's book fictionalizes the true story of two male penguins who became partners and raised a penguin chick in the Central Park Zoo. The Boy and the Bindi by Vivek Shreya and Rajni Pereira, published in 2016. A beautiful children's picture book that showcases a young Indian boy's fascination with his mother's Mindy, the red dot commonly worn by Hindu women. Rather than chastise her son, she teaches him about its cultural significance and doesn't flinch when he asks for one himself. Wearing it allows him to joyfully explore and express his difference. Stella Brings the Family by Miriam B. Schiffer and illustrated by Holly Clifton Brown, published in 2015. Stella's class is having a Mother's Day celebration, but what's a girl with two daddies to do? It's not that she doesn't have someone who helps her with her homework or tucks her in at night. Stella has her papa and daddy who take care of her and a whole gaggle of other loved ones who make her feel special and supported every day. She just doesn't have a mom to invite to the party. Fortunately, Stella finds a unique solution to her party problem in this sweet story about love, acceptance, and the true meaning of family. She's My Dad by Sarah Savage and Jules Garcia, published in 2020. My dad's name is Haley. She used to be a he, but now she is a she. Last year, she did this thing called transition. She grew her hair long, painted her nails in bright colors, and started wearing different clothes. Plenty of Hugs by Fran Manushkin and Kate Alizada, published in 2020. Two mommies spend a sunny day with their toddler in this cozy, rhyming picture book that is a loving celebration of family. Intersection Allies. We Make Room for All by Chelsea Johnson, Latoya Council, Carolyn Choi, Ashley Seal Smith, and Kimberly Crenshaw published in 2019. The brainchild of three women of color sociologists. Intersection Allies is a smooth, gleeful entry into an intersectional feminism. The nine interconnected characters proudly describe themselves and their backgrounds involving topics that range from a physical disability to language brokering, offering an opportunity to take pride in a personal story and connect to collective struggle for justice. It Takes Love and Some Other Stuff to Make a Baby by L.L. Bird and Patrick Guerard, published in 2013. It Takes Love and Some Other Stuff to Make a Baby is a book for kids in two mom families born via donor insemination. Using bright illustrations and simple concrete language, It Takes Love explains the basics of reproduction and introduces the concept of the donor. Oh, Onani, Hulu Warrior by Heather Gale and Mika Song, published in 2019. An empowering celebration of identity, acceptance, and Hawaiian culture based on the true story of a young girl in Hawaii who dreams of the boys-only hula troupe at her school. 
My Maddie by Gail E. Pittman and Violet Tobacco, published in 2020. A child, ce a child celebrates her Maddie, who is neither mommy or daddy, but a little bit of both, like so many things in nature. The hips on the drag queen go swish, swish, swish by Lil Miss Hot Mess and Olga de Dios, published in 2020. Encourages readers to boldly be exactly who they are, Written by a founding member of the nationally recognized Drag Queen Story Hour, DQSH, this playful picture book offers a quirky twist on classic nursery rhymes by illustrating all of the ways to work it. The story plays off the wheels on the bus as it follows a drag queen who performs her routine in front of an awestruck audience. A fun frenzy of fierceness, this book will appeal to readers of all ages. Family by Carrie McCluskey, Jess Unepic, Mike, and Lenny Lyshenko, published in 2017. Talichuk is excited to start his first day of grade two. He is looking forward to the new year, but as he meets his friends again for the first time after summer vacation, he notices that a lot of his friends' families are different from his own. Some have one mom and one dad, and some only have a mom. Some kids live with their grandparents, some live with two dads or two moms. As Talatuk hears about all the fun his friends have had with their families, he learns that families come in many different shapes and sizes, and what holds them all together is love. My Chacha is Gay by Aina, published in 2014. With all the religious intolerance and extremism in Pakistan, it's important to push back with the arts and with education. The best way to do this is to start early and teach our children tolerance and diversity from a young age. The book also aims to show the rest of the world that all Pakistanis cannot be defined by the terrorism and intolerance you see in the media. We are a varied people. Amongst us, there are many kind, gentle, and diversity-loving souls, but sadly these voices are drowned out or silenced by extremists. Introducing Teddy. A Gentle Story About Gender and Friendship by Jess Walton and Dougal McPherson, published in 2016. One sunny day, Errol finds that Thomas the Teddy is sad, and Errol can't figure out why. When Thomas the Teddy finally tells Errol what Teddy has been afraid to say, In my heart, I've always known that I'm a girl, Teddy, and not a boy, Teddy. I wish my name was Tilly. And Errol said, I don't care if you're a girl, Teddy, or a boy, Teddy. What matters is that you are my friend. Phoenix Goes to School, a story to support transgender and gender diverse children by Michelle Finch and Phoenix Finch, published in 2018. With words of encouragement from her mom, Phoenix is preparing for her first day of school. She is excited but scared of being bullied because of her gender identity and expression. Yet when she arrives at school, she finds help and support from teachers and friends and finds she is brave enough to talk to other kids about her gender. Neither by Early Anderson, published in 2018. In the land of this and that, there are only two kinds, blue bunnies and yellow birds. But one day, a funny green egg hatches and a little creature that's not quite a bird and not quite a bunny pops out. It's neither. Pink is for Boys by Rob Perlman and Ida Kevin, published in 2018. This timely and beautiful picture book rethinks and reframes the stereotypical blue-pink gender binary and empowers kids and their grown-ups to express themselves in every color of the rainbow. When Aiden Became a Brother by Kyle Lukoff and Kailani Juanita, published in 2019. When Aiden was born, everyone thought he was a girl. His parents gave him a pretty name, his room looked like a girl's room, and he wore clothes that other girls liked wearing. After he realized he was a trans boy, Aiden and his parents fixed the parts of life that didn't fit anymore, and he settled happily into his new life. Then mom and dad announced that they're going to have another baby, and Aiden wants to do anything he can to, to make things right for this new sibling from the beginning. Worm Loves Worm by J.J. Austrian and Mike Corato, published in 2016. When a worm meets a special worm and they fall in love, you know what happens next? They get married! But their friends want to know who will wear the dress and who will wear the tux. My Princess Boy by Cheryl Kilo Davis and Suzanne DeSimon, published in 2009. With the words and illustrations even the youngest of children can understand, My Princess Boy tells the tale of a four-year-old boy who happily expresses his authentic self by happily dressing up in dresses and enjoying traditional girl things such as jewelry and anything pink or sparkly. Pride, the story of Harvey Milk and the Rainbow Flag by Rob Sanders and Stephen 
Salerno, published in 2018. In this deeply moving and empowering true story, young readers will trace the life of the gay pride flag. From its beginning in 1978, the social activist Harvey Milk and designer Gilbert Baker to its spanning of the globe and its role in today's world. Maiden and Princess by Daniel Hack, Isabel Galupo, and Becca Human, published in 2019. Once in a faraway kingdom, a strong, brave maiden is invited to attend the prince's royal ball, but she's not as excited to go as everyone else. After her mother convinces her to make an appearance, she makes a huge impression on everyone present, from the villagers to the king and the queen, but she ends up finding true love in a most surprising place. It Feels Good to Be Yourself, a book about gender identity by Teresa Thorne and Noah Grigny, published in 2019. The sweet, straightforward exploration of gender identity will give children a fuller understanding of themselves and others. With child-friendly language and vibrant art, It Feels Good to Be Yourself provides young readers and parents alike with vocabulary to discuss this important topic with sensitivity. Julian is a Mermaid by Jessica Love, published in 2018. While riding the subway home from the pool with his abuela one day, Julian notices three women spectacularly dressed up. Their hair billows in brilliant hues, their dresses end in fishtails, and their joy fills the train car. When Julian gets home daydreaming of the magic he's seen, all he can think about is dressing up just like the ladies in his own fabulous mermaid costume. And that's a wrap! Obviously, there are many more picture books celebrating queerness, but I had to stop somewhere, and my plan is to be back next year with even more recommendations, as this was a pretty fun video to put together. Bye y'all, keep reading, and resist white supremacy. And as always, Literally Graphic is created on land that should be given back to the traditional land holders, which in this case is, to my knowledge, the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation, Anishinaabe people, the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, and the Huron-Wendat Nation.